Semper Fidelius. I uh, just wanted to make a video. Uh, we're transitioning seasons here to colder uh, weather. So that allows for full size pieces such as uh, the Beretta M9, which is my favorite fucking gun, period. I mean, it's proven itself uh, since the 80s when it replaced the 1911 for the service pistol. And uh, you could probably search the history yourself. But I believe Beretta was primarily an uh, Italian manufacturer. And then the Navy SEALs had some kind of dialogue with them about what they can do to streamline it or whatnot. And that actually expedited the process of them coming to America and manufacturing said gun in America. So that's fucking outstanding history. Just very reliable. In service, the ones that are issued are beat to shit and still run outstanding. And uh, during the colder climbs, I run the Galco Miami 2 holster or the Miami Classic. I forget which one, but it's a shoulder holster, and I mean, unless you just want to open carry, like the Derek Passenger or Dexter, which I've been binge watching, I'm up to like season six, but I digress. But on that show, you'll see the cops wearing these, you know, open carry or whatnot. I, I would do that as well, but there's a lot of libtards in Connecticut, so I usually wear it under my. North Face or fleece, or sweatshirt, whatnot. This is very comfortable. The only gripe I have about it is the connection points are plastic. Each connection point is fucking plastic. The leather holsters, outstanding. The snaps, good to go. Snaps reinforced with the, some sort of metal backing. So, leather, good. Connection points, shit. All right, so my favorite gun, let's take it out. I have the Beretta M9. On it, I have the Hogue aluminum grips, powder coated black base coat with a white Punisher emblem. I think that looks fucking wicked. Feels great in the hand. Outstanding. I think it ran like a hundred bucks. But just the action on this is good to go. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this piece. So, to break down, you have the button, rotate, it's that simple. And just to touch base on the guide rod, it comes with a plastic guide rod. I bought the stainless steel, the black coated. So, it's a steel guide rod. I mean, you can argue it does add. Uh, you know, rigidity to the process as opposed to the plastic, which you know succumb to the forces. So, this one holds everything in line and makes it run the way it's supposed to, theoretically. I mean, I honestly can't tell the difference, but I thought of something to note, so I fucking noted it. But I mean, this gun is easy to fucking break down. Just as much so as the Glock to clean. Just wipe it down. Barrel assembly for those who have not seen it. Got the feed ramp. Alright, and just to put it back in place. Feed it. Spring open end goes into the slide. Your contact portions on your frame. This is all metal construction as opposed to a Glock. So, I mean, you could definitely note the difference when holding it when shooting it it's my favorite carry z beretta m9 thanks for watching er